Peter I said something this morning that people don't want to go to church now. Well, so then why do you want to join us when we get up there? All right. Amen. Everybody want to go to hell. But nobody want to do nothing down here. Amen. Amen. I pray that somewhere down the line that you will, will catch it. You know, uh, we old school, we bring Bibles to church. Amen. I use my phone when I'm doing research papers and all that good stuff. It's just good to have God in your hand. Not on your phone. You can't, you can't go to Facebook on this Bible or to Twitter on this Bible. You have to stay with the scripture. I'm hoping that you'll catch it somewhere down the line. Uh, I'm holding in my hand a wonderful lady. I didn't know her. But I know her daughter. I read the obituary. She's a wonderful lady. Lived 90 plus years. Amen. As I read the obituary, she reminded me of John Lewis. She got in good trouble. Said that she protested also. She protested to her children about making sure they go to church, Sunday school, and all of that stuff. You know, a whole lot more ladies like this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 Powerful lady. So I'm glad to have met her daughter, and her daughter is exemplifying everything her mother taught her. I mean, you know, it starts at the home. Amen. So we're praying that um, we will get on board. And like the other old lady said, just do what the Lord said do. And you'll be better off. Amen. Amen. We do have a, a, a list of people that uh, have asked for prayer. I want to do that. I'm um, going to give you their names and I'm going to read the scripture. And then we're going to pray. Uh, you can come to the altar and practice in social distance. But I want to pray for Sister Roslyn. I'm going to pray for Sister Foley. I'm praying for my sister behind me, Sister Ruby Brown. And my other sister, her, Marie, and Sister Dorothy Phoenix. I'm praying for our Monday night meetings, that they will go a little bit better than the first one. And uh, something happened yesterday morning on the heart of Toll Road that clarify what God has been saying to me. I need to find me another way to get out of spring. Then to get on that hard and that built way. Especially if it's five o'clock in the morning. Man went the wrong way. He's going the wrong way on Hardy. No, on 99. Ran directly into another car. Killed that person. He was in intensive care. FedEx truck turned over. So, you know, uh, people are drinking a lot right now. They're going through. Sometimes they don't pay attention on how to get on, and they be going the wrong way. So I'm trying, I'm trying to find me some streets. I can get on and just ride. They didn't save me some money. I'm paying the heart and all that toll road. Amen. We're praying for the people that died. A lot of people died this month. So we want to pray for them. Yes, sir. We're praying for Reverend Holmes that are here. He's here now. His family will be here a little later. We're going to baptize him today. Yes, he came out. He came out earlier this week. We have Reverend Holmes been knowing one another a long time. And uh, we fought for one another. Yeah, we fought one another, but <laughs> he said, our oh, pastor, I'm on the right track now. I want to do things right. And I want to be going in water again. And uh, the brother just, he's a changed man. And so I thank God for the power of the spirit that is in him. I'm praying for Jeremy Friend, the Brown and Lindsay family. Uh, I'm praying for my brother, Elder Holly, who had to go out of town, his grandmother. Not doing too good right now, that's why they're not here. And for my daddy, Elder Jones, and my mother, Sister John. 
And if you got a job or you work at home, don't take it for granted. You blessed to be still working and to work at home. That's a blessing. A lot of people ain't working at all. So don't get too high-minded uh, because you're at home and don't be getting mad because things look different. It's different being at home, but you still, that check ain't different. Hey man, you still get deposited. You still get that check. That ain't nothing different about that. So we ask that you now come to the altar and pray for whoever you want to pray for that, that's not on my list. While you're coming, I'm going to read the scripture, and then we're going to pray. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, one verse, verse number one. Paul said, be imitators of me, just as I am also of Christ. Paul stepped out on the water and he said, be like me. I'm that Christ. And for all of you that think you have done so much and you've done too much, Paul was one of the words that you did that you ever want to see. And God forgave him. He'll do the same thing for you. Let us bow. Gracious Father, Lord, we come now in the wonderful and precious name of your love and such. Lord, we come, Lord, because we believe that you're God. And beside you, there are no other. We thank you, Father, for allowing your son to come and walk the streets, dear Lord. Lord, here in the United States, all over the world. Lord, that men would have a chance to get saved. And Lord, I magnify and I glorify you, Lord, for the time that you came in my life. Turn my life around. So I said, thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to ask a special prayer for my friend, Sister Rosa, and my other friend, Sister Foley.
Amen. We thank God for your, your participation. I, 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 I want to wait time. Uh, so I was having a conversation with my kid from down the street. On. I just want to show you all this video. Oh, that's, that's my oldest son. Yeah. And uh, because I'm, I don't know the word to use, but folks could fall out of me a lot. Uh, what that mean, like? Troublemaker. Troublemaker, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. The people I say, because I'm 100. That's right. That's true. I'm 100. That's true. And, uh, Keep it real. He, uh, Keep it real. Sent me this video that touched my heart, my wife's heart, my family's heart. And I want you all to know that even if you have disagreements with people, if you pray, one day God will show up and show out. You can't hurry God. He just moves when he get ready. All right now. Amen. Now hit it, hit it. Go. Uh, we went. We just went to a friend on this evening now, actually, and uh, he was telling me that uh, how he looked up to us and, and all that. And he mentioned that you know I've always looked at you and you've always been stable. And so I asked him what he meant. And one of the things that he said was that our family was so we stuck together. And, you know, we, we we gave the neighborhood hope of what a black family could look like. And so I have to point that to you. So just let you know. Uh, I know we have our times where you don't, uh, we ain't seeing eye to eye, but uh, always know that I'm proud of you. And uh, just as many horror stories we have, we also have some triumphant stories, and so I wanted to share that with you. Uh, so let that encourage you that you've done a great job, not just to us, but the entire community. All right? Love you. Don't be over there crying. <laughs> amen, amen. Out of the clear blue sky, he just sent me that. So you never know how and when God, God that's right. is working. That's right. That's just right. know that God hears your cry. Yes, he does. And you can't hurt with God. Right. And God will show up. Every time. Every time. When you least expect it, yes, he will. he'll show up. Yes, he will. And show up. Kind of scared me sometimes, though. You know, my 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 other son came way to spring. Me and him sit out in the backyard and cry. <laughs> now, my oldest son just sent me that video. Amen. We didn't have no problem with being cool or at least it was just them two. Amen. But God, but God has worked that out, and I'm grateful. Amen. Amen. I'm grateful. Um, there's a bomb in get ass. He's in the house. Amen. Good to see old C bomb in the house. I just wanna uh, just lift up one little old verse on today. Very familiar passage of scripture. That everybody probably know by heart. But I believe that I'm gonna open up some things that you might have missed. I don't know if you had missed them or not. Uh, but I'm hoping this will help you to understand what Paul is talking about in Romans chapter 12, verse number one. All right. Uh, it says, therefore, I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice, acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. I don't know if that's right. the New American standard, but it's, it's close. I'm reading from the New American Standard Version. But I just want to speak just a little while about living life. All right. Remembering mm -hmm. the love of the Lord. Praise yeah. it. Living life. Yeah. Remembering. Remembering. The love of the Lord. Amen. God. Let us bow. Gracious Father, we come once more again. Asking Father for preaching power, Lord, that we may uh, examine scripture together, dear Lord, yeah, yeah. that we all may be helped from your word. It's yeah. in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 May be seated. <laughs> I would first like to say thanks to the unbelieving Jews yeah. and the love of God because of the unbelieving Jews. <laughs> God engrafted the Gentiles. Right. Right. I 
also thank King Nebuchadnezzar, a Gentile king, for his high-mindedness that caused God to break him down and cause the king to live outside in the grass. Y'all remember that scripture? Uh, this causes me to be aware of thinking too highly of myself and not to look down on others. Remembering the love of God. So first we should also, uh, as Gentiles, examine some things when you look at the scripture. The first word in the text says, therefore. So it causes you to wonder, what is it there for? Yeah. It's there because of things that happened in chapter 11. Right. Chapter 11, Paul talks about uh, the tree, which was Abraham. All right. And God spoke to Abraham uh, when he walked uh, and said that he was going to bless all people. Y'all remember the song, Father Abraham? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, 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 he blessed everybody. Uh, but in the time when Abraham uh, walked the land, he blessed Israel. Amen. And Israel consists of Jews. Yeah. Do we have any Jews in the house on today? If you're a Jew, I want you to raise your hand. Amen. Amen. No Jews in the house. So the scripture, he was he he he, he let us know that first of all, Abraham was the, the tree. Yeah. The branches on the tree was Israel and Jews. Yeah. At that time, Gentiles was nowhere on the tree. The tree. Amen. Matter of fact, I hear uh, scriptures say that we were not even a people. Ooh. Gentiles were some low down, dirty individuals back yeah. in the day. Come on, help me if you can. Right. Gentiles had some things to say uh, about Jesus when he was on the cross. Right. Gentiles did some stuff that, look, it, it ain't even good to be spoken of. Come on, help me if you can. All this is scripture. So, so uh, uh, it's there because, and therefore it's there because God put the Israelites, the Jews, to the side for a little while because they got too high-minded. They, they start right. thinking too highly of themselves. Yeah. They, they, they did not appreciate being on the, on the tree. <laughs> Come on, help me if you can. So that's why I mentioned today the job that we're on. Uh, sometimes we get too high-minded and don't want to do what some folks say. We, we want to do what we want to do and all this different stuff. You better be glad that you got a job. You got to be glad that you are getting paid every week or every other week. You, you ought to be glad that folks think enough of you That's right. to keep you on the job. How I many know that some folks can replace you today and have somebody, you know what I'm saying, in there the same day because the application will stack that high with wants your job. Amen? So, so, so I, I know what I'm talking about because I, I live with an individual that's HR manager. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. know about Appreciation. You know about people that don't appreciate yeah. what their jobs. So, so, so you, you, you better be glad if you at home working and not complaining about being at home and all this different kind of stuff. Because look here, you ought to be thankful that you got a job. Yeah. You should be thankful that you don't have to go and pick your check up. I mean, they got this thing now. It, it just, just, it, it, it's in your account. Electronic, man. Yeah, yes, man. Hey, man. No. I don't know about Robert, because Robert said he did deal with checks. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if Robert, Robert might get a check, bro. <laughs> he said he don't deal with all that other stuff. Robert said he want a check, man. So, 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 so God put his people to the side. That's in chapter 11. And he engrafted the Gentiles. Do we have any Gentiles in the house? Amen, amen. You got in gravity, so you wasn't a part of the original tree. Yeah. yeah right. So God engrafted you just to make the Israels or the Jews jealous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then he said, don't think too highly of yourself yeah. because if I put my own people to the side, yeah. what do you think I do to the individual that I ain't grafted in? Come on, help me if you can. Yeah, yeah, then I, I told y'all this story. Jerry ain't been here to hear that story yet. Jerry came. He, I think he sat on the last row when he first came. 
And uh, he, was, he was slim, he had a little afro. Come on, help me if you can. <laughs> I'm talking about old Jerry back there. I called him JB. You know, he, he, he got out and he wanted to go to work. Yeah. Quincy, my other son, was already working. But he got high minded. Yeah. Come on, help me if you can. So right. I asked Jerry, I said, man, you want to go to work? He said, yeah, I want to go to work. He said, but I ain't got no vehicle. I said, man, I'm going to take care of that. I ain't got no lawnmower. I'm going to take care of that. So I got him a truck. Is that right? I got him long ago, sitting to work, man. And when Quincy saw that, yeah. he said, Dad, he got judged. He said, Dad, I'm sorry, man. Look here. Can, can, can you go give me some long ago? Come on, help him again. Because that's my original son. Yeah. How many know what I done? I went about Quincy a long ago. So I had Jeremy going one way, Quincy going another way. And what God is letting us know today, that even though he put them to the side, those are my people. Jesus said, I, I love them folks because they were messing up a little bit. They start thinking too highly of themselves, Robert. They start looking down on other folks. They start uh, getting big headed. You know how sometimes people get when they living on either street. Come on, help me if you can. Like you, you too proud, you too big to go on a corner with a sign in your head. How many know God can break you down like he did King Nebuchadnezzar? And King Nebuchadnezzar, he went and got him a sign if he if it was signs going on back there. Because you a Gentile right now. Don't you get too high-headed or too high-minded because you a Gentile now, because you stay at home and you get a check because you got a car now, because you got a new house, because you got all this stuff going. And God said, don't you start thinking too highly of yourself. He said, because now the way I broke them down, he said, I'll break you down too. And, 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 and that's something to think about. You ain't too big to go what? Down. You're not too big to step off into the unemployment office. Come on, help me if you can. Is there anybody glad because you ain't in the unemployment office? Is there anybody glad because you ain't never had to go ask for no food? Check me if you can. Look, God still been good to the Ford family. To, oh, anybody know who do season is? God been good to do season and me. God been good to our families. Come on, help me if you can. God been good to the mouth. Get ahead and the red church. God has been good. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. So don't you look down on nobody. And don't you get too high-minded. In right. the scripture I read here that we need to imitate Christ because you said that God uh, loved you. And then you said, I love the Lord because he heard my cry. And, and, and you made a promise that, that, that as long as you live, and trouble rise, you're going to hate it to his throne. Is there anybody here saying song that you know you need to be living just because you're the song of, you know the words to him, you just can't live no any kind of way. We are Gentile in yes. my blood. Instead of being high-minded, you ought to be grace-minded. Yes, God. You gotta preach up in here. I'm talking about grace-minded, grace-minded at that. When you get up in the morning, say, Lord, thank you. When you get up in the morning, say, Lord, thank you. When you get up in the morning, say, Lord, thank you. When you go to the restroom, Lord, thank you. When you get in your car, Lord, thank you. When you get to your job, Lord, thank you. When you eat something, Lord, thank you. Come on, help me if you can. When you get back home, Lord, thank you. Because I got a job, thank you. Because my, my, my key work, come on, help me if you can. You, thank you because my bag still works. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need, you need to be thankful. Grace minded is just being high minded. So Paul wanted to let the Gentiles know. In verse number 12, I mean chapter 12. He said, now, therefore, he said, man, I'm urging you, I'm begging you. He said, I'm begging you, I'm begging you. By the mercies of God. To present your body. A living and holy. Yes. So you just can't live no any kind of way. Yes, because you already went told your friends that you're a Christian. How many know that when, 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 when you got saved, is there anybody yes. beside me that does, when you got saved, you been told everybody yes. that you were saved? You want everybody to know, man, I ain't like that no more, man. I, I met a man by the name of Jesus, man. I tell you, something came over me, and I, I had to go down the aisle. And now the same people. Yes, sir. 
see you in the crack house. The same people. Yeah. We'll see you on the corner. The same people. Yeah. 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 I, I thought he said that he was such and such and such. such. Yeah. Come on, help me if you can. But now yeah. I see him yeah. on the corner. Yeah. Is there anybody besides me? You know, you can't take no one drink because they like laid potato chips. But it's just hard to take one drink because look, I'm, I'm gonna try to get a nut. Then when I get a nut, I, I start to giggle. Anybody know that that that, that alcohol has you giggling? Come on, help me if you can. Then you start giggling, you want another drink. Yeah. Then you get on the highway zigzagging and end up in jail with a. DWI. Yes. 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 Look, if, if you like me, you, you you said back when you was out on the street, the police always messing with me. Yeah. Always messing with me, man, but your headlight was out. Yeah. Come on, help me if you can. Yeah, when he got to the car, he smelled alcohol everywhere. <laughs> Come on, help me if you can. See, you need to understand that the nine times out of ten, the police ain't messing with you, man. Yeah, you ain't that important. He said, so therefore, he said, I'm urging you, I'm begging you, what, brother? Yeah. Or like Rose old say, brethren? Yes, Come on in the name of Jesus. He said, he said, he said, uh, by the mercies yeah, yeah, yeah. of God. You know what I'm saying? He said, to present your bodies a living sacrifice. All right, now he said, and holy. Yeah. He said, I just don't want you to live no any kind of way. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's holy sacrifice. That's why I say, when you bring your money to, to the Lord, that's a holy yeah, 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 yeah. sacrifice. Don't be throwing your money in the offering tank. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have a, a prayer when you get there with the offering. Y'all say, Lord, thank you that I got some money to give. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that I got a job. So this here is a sacred day. And we need to make it holy. Yes, God. Help I'm, I'm looking at Reverend Holly here, but he, he hit me. He, he in Louisiana or Arkansas somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I, I did pray for him. All right. And his grandmother. You know what I'm saying? Doing. But guess what? Guess what? Uh, Reverend Holly will always be here to get me out of trouble. Because <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble now. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe the pre ride will help me. <laughs> if you got a job. This ain't my sermon. I'm saying this, I'm going to move on. If, if you got a job, Come on now. you've been blessed to work at home. Yes, sir. Or your job wants you there in person. You got paid five, six hundred dollars. On Friday, Thursday. I don't care what you got to do, Rep. Yes, sir. Fifty dollars of that money ain't yours. That's it, Pastor. Y'all didn't catch that. Y'all didn't catch that. I say, now, if you got paid five hundred. Yes, sir. Fifty dollars ain't yours. So you really got 450. Yes. Yes. Now, because you appreciate what God done for you, right. you give $10 or $20 as offer. Right. Right. So Lord, I thank you. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I know the 50 belong to you, but this is an offer showing you that I appreciate it. Right. Uh, I'm yes. in trouble here, Robert. Come on, help me if you can. I'm just trying to help somebody. It ain't your money. So what I heard those preachers say, that you walking around in the church still it. You stand in a house that yes. really ain't yours. You drive a car that you ain't paid no. You got a stolen vehicle. I'm talking about the hairstyle you got. Stolen. Come on, help me if you can. The brand new shoes you wearing is stolen. Come on, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to help somebody. You know what I'm saying? But just, just, just like Paul, God forgive him. There's no good individual power. God will forgive you for stealing his money. Yes, sir. Come here, Lord. Let's start where you are. Do what you got. And do the best you can. All right. Come on, help me. Lord, I'm sorry for taking your money. God, how many know that if you be honest about it, yes, I think sir. it's a 35% interest. Yes, sir. I think that's in the third of the breath. It's 35%, Robert. Robert. So if you take 50, 35% of that is what? Fifteen dollars? Seventeen something? Yeah. Seventeen fifty. Yeah. That you need to add to the fifty when you come back. All 
right. took yourself 50. You know what I'm saying? You, you didn't pay because you took 50. But when you bring it back, you need to pay 1750 plus an offering. Right. Help me out, Reverend Holly. Yeah. I know you're looking. I know you're watching, man. Help me out. But it said, it said uh, to present your body as a, a holy sacrifice. And it won't be acceptable if you're doing anything you want to do, right? Tell it, tell it. Huh? Uh -huh. But what I like about God, once you get the right understanding, and, and you say, Lord, I'm sorry. Yes, Lord. Lord, he, he will forgive you. Ooh. But right, I got I got I got three little old parts here that I want to you know Most of that was my thesis statement. <laughs> huh? okay. I, I just want to give you three little old parts that I want you all to always remember. One little verse. I think it got nine, seven, eight, nine different things in there. But I got it on paper. Right. The first thing you need to remember, you have to always remember your past. That's why the therefore is there. Paul was letting you know your past. Yeah. Your past is that you was not a part of the tree. Yeah. Your past was that you said some things about Jesus that wasn't right. right. Yeah. Come on, help me if you can. Look, I'm going to get in trouble again. I'm going to get in trouble again. Look, uh, I heard everybody say Romans chapter 13 was for uh, slaves. And, and, and put that scripture there because, you know what I'm saying, uh, they wanted the slaves to obey the masters. Uh, but I got a problem with that. Because all scripture was inspired by God. If, if, if God put it in there, come on, help me if you can. It ain't some of it that you can, 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 can hold on to. You need to hold on to, to all of it. What kind of God you say? God going to put something out there that was for them and it ain't for us? Man, I'm in trouble already, Robert. Ain't nobody said amen. Amen. Yet. Amen. Look at, but, 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 but what I'm trying to get you to understand, you need to remember where you came from. Come on, Pastor. Amen. Yeah. That's why, that's why I'm, I, 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 I'm always getting it. I can't help it, Robert. I know because, because I ain't always had. That's it. Say that. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm always forgiving. Because I always stay in trouble. <laughs> Look here, and then I get in trouble, I say, Lord, I done got in trouble again. You know what I'm saying? Come on, help me if you can. So you have to say, Lord, I've been messed up again. Can you help me? You know what I'm saying? Is there anybody beside me be going back, Lord, I need some help? I, I heard around them say, I need thee. Oh, I need thee. You know what I'm saying? Because we stay in trouble. Yes, sir. Good trouble. Yeah, that's it. Amen. Huh? I ain't talking about no good trouble, Rob. Not right now. Right. I'm talking about that bad trouble. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that folks get in good trouble is when you try to help people, help people for a cause. That's good. But yeah, that's we get good. in trouble because we don't want to abide by a right. cause. Right. Yeah. Right. Amen. We're going to do what we want to do with God. I'm a grown man now. I'm a grown woman. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I get in trouble because of conscientious parroting now. Yeah. I think I said that word right. <laughs> they don't want children no more. Look at they, they don't do this, they don't do that. Look at But I, I, I know one. Yes, sir. That the children still try to get a woman. What's her name over there? Uh, Priscilla. Pus, pus, uh, uh. <laughs> hey, look at Priscilla over there. You know what I'm saying? You see how our children, you see how our children sit down? They don't move. That's right. She don't have to have no switch. She don't have to have nothing. That boy out here, he's sitting there. He ain't doing nothing. Look, got a girl over there. She ain't they paying attention because, look at if you mess up, she might not do nothing here. But when we get home, as a matter of fact, she's going to tell her, when you get to church, you sit, and don't you move. <laughs> and all the time I've been watching each other, when, they, when she come to church, do you see them running around? Do you see them sleep? Do you see them paying attention? Y'all catch me, y'all catch me, y'all catch me. But we have other children that's on that conscientious parenting. <laughs> They run all around the church, the children don't whoop them. I mean, the parents don't whoop them, you can't whoop them. And you scared of them because the children, you got to fight with the parents. All right. Well, I told mine, that my grandchildren, now, these bit, now, if you come here, yes, sir. it's going to be a problem. Right. And then I might go to jail, but I'm going to get out. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. My children, they already know. 
They ain't be running around the house. And, and they ain't never done it, even when they were that little. Uh, Sister Easton would stand for that. Sister Easton, she was uh, the founding member. When I brought all of my children, they remind me of that family. Right there, because my children gonna sit right there. And you better not move. You go to sleep and you get home. Don't worry about eating right now. Just go on in your room and go to sleep. Since you were so sleeping at church, go on in the room and go to sleep. And then we are, matter of fact, sometimes you send your food on in there. Since you was that tired. <laughs> Amen. And then Easter speech. Oh, you can't come up there with this. Huh? You can't come up there with that. Man, come on, help me again. You got to come. We done went over the Easter speech. A hundred times, man. You, you need to know the whole speech. Right. Right, and then when I'm coming up, my mom might, might throw the whole book at me. <laughs> it worked for us. That's right. It did. Yes, it did. Children don't know nothing about red bugs. Now, we, we had to stay outside when parents were talking, the grown folks were talking, and you could even stitch it. Tearing you up, you know what I'm saying? But guess what? Look, we came out all right. That's all right. And, and the Bible says, Yes. Spell wrong. Don't you be him. He will not die. He ain't gonna die. Come on, Come on, help me if you can. So, so if you stay with the Bible. That's the word. With the word. That's the word. That's the word. So, 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 we ought to always remember. Even the whoopings that we got when we came up. Remember your past. Yes, God. Look, they will always tell you, I'm whooping you up because I love you, baby. And I didn't understand that until I got about 30 something years old, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, talking about she hide the world. And I'm sitting down looking at whips on my leg. You know what I mean? Talking about they love me. You know what I mean? It just didn't make no sense. But look, man, everything my mama never told me, man, it was good. I did not pay attention then. Boy, but they always yes, God. told me the right thing. Right. And they really did love me. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So so I thank God for, for my parents. Yes, and, and I know do thank God for her mama, but she, she crazy, she's more crazy about her daddy. Her daddy always had her in church singing for him Amen. and doing all kinds of stuff. And, and Chip, did, did, did you know that she used to sweep her yard? <laughs> yeah. Anybody here ever swept your front yard? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Lord. Say he, who else say yes, Lord? Where you from? Country. Well, I'm the country. Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. Well, we got three people that used to sweep their yard. We ain't never swept our yard back then. Yes, Not in Sunnyside, we did. Come on, help me if you can. But look, I tell you what, if it's good for the goose, Yes, Lord. Amen. Good for nothing. So look, he said, uh, the next thing I want you to remember, always remember your past. Remember where you came from. Remember your hard trials and your tribulation. Remember what you had to do in the bathtub when it came to wash your clothes. Yeah, always have. <laughs> The stuff that you got now. So remember all the things that God has provided yes, for you. God. Especially because you are a what? Gentile. Right. Next thing I want you to do is what? Always remember your purpose. Yeah. All right. What is your purpose? Is it is in the, uh, the D and E part of verse number one. Verse number one says, Therefore I urge you, brethren, by the mercy of God, to present your body to the living and holy uh, sacrifice. Uh, acceptable to God. Uh, now, to present yeah. mercies of God. Number two is to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice. That's a yeah. sacrifice. Uh -huh. right. That's your purpose. Your purpose is to do what? To present your body a living and holy sacrifice. So you need to always remember yeah. what your purpose is as a Christian, yeah. All right. as a Gentile. All right. You need to present your body yeah. a living and a holy sacrifice. Yeah. Throughout that tell me you can't live no any kind of way. 
And, and, and my Bible tells me that you, when you enter on, the gates, uh-huh. you ought to find something to thank God about. Right. And it's courts with thank praise. Yeah. So even if Robert don't run around the church, yeah. Yeah. even if David don't give you no music, yes, sir. you still ought to find something yes, sir. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. to praise God about it. Is there anybody have baby when you was on the corner? Or uh, Robert singing on the corner? No, you were on the corner, you made your own music. Your own and music. the Thunderbird done the rest. Come on, help me today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so you ain't always had no music. So what I'm saying, you need to remember. You need to remember. You need to always do that. I, I keep saying remember. Yes, Lord. Remember your past. Yes. And remember your purpose. You didn't get saved to live no any kind of way. That's right. You didn't get saved to do no anything. You didn't get saved to what? Present your body no any kind of way. Yeah. You are God's material. That's right. That's right. Did, did y'all hear what I said? Yeah. I said you are representing God. Yeah. Like Paul, now stop worrying about what you used to do. Throw that out. Because Paul was one of the low islands. Yes, he was. Individual you ever want to see. Yeah, yeah. And God pulled him out yes, to yes. make him an apostle mm-hmm. over the Gentiles. Yes, God. And then we said, man, Paul wrote what? 11, 12 different 13, books. 13. How many was Paul? 13. 13 different books. Yeah. I wonder why he wrote all them books. Mm. Writing to them no good. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Gentiles, you know what I'm saying? He talked to the Gentiles. He was telling them about what the Jews did, yeah. but now this is for you. Yeah. The Gentiles says, I'm the apostle of the Gentiles. So Paul, number one, he was very educated. Yeah. So if you're going to tell somebody, you got to have some education. All right, All right Pastor. You know how to pronounce that right? <laughs> education, education, you know what I'm saying? You need to have some education. And then you 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 gonna have to be went through something where you can tell somebody about all what right, you're trying to get them right, to do. All right, all right, all right. If you ain't never been through that, come on, help me forget. See, I, I can't tell nobody about computer that much. That's why I got a computer computer man coming in here Thursday to help anybody want to know something about computer. Cause look, I ain't always been on no computer. All right. Okay, I know how to get on there, and once I get it set, if you mess with it and go go the other way. I can't get back on it. I don't know why. I, I can't get back on it, Rock. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if, if you get on that computer, when you just leave everything like I got it, because That's I ain't right. able to get back. Right. I don't know too much about computers. I can't type. I, I pet. But guess what, Rock? Yeah. I use what I have. That's right. In October, I will graduate with a Master's of the Thing. Praise the Lord. Come on, help me if you can. I'm talking about I pet my way through. Yeah. Come on, help me again. So it ain't nothing that you can't do. Look here, I'm pecking my way. And then when I ask, do see this? I don't do see this. I ask her to help me some people. I can't keep up with her, man. You know what I'm saying? She's. Well, it takes me a whole day to write. She can go in there and do it in 15 minutes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even both hands. And they, they look at the computer, look at the paper. Yeah. But you got to use what you got. Amen. And you got to do the best you can. I use what I had, man. Look here. And I have never turned in a paper late. Because I knew when I needed to do it. I knew when I needed to have it. So I come over here. It takes me a whole almost. Four or five days. I'm going to give me a little bit to that day. Yeah. Next day, I'm going to give me a little bit that day. Yeah. Next day, I'm going to do a little bit more. Yeah. And then I'm going to finish, I'm going to submit it. Guess what? As of right now, yeah. I got a 98.3 in one right. class. Right. And a 96.75 in the other class. Right. I picked my way I picked my way through. Come on, help me if you can. So they what? You can't do is that if you want to do it, 
you can do it, but you got to present yourself. You got to present when folks see you, you know what I'm saying? You might not look like you got no sense when you start talking. Huh? We can do it, man. We, we, we can do it. As Gentiles, we ought to be the more thankful race than it is. Because we help with the assassination of Jesus. The crucifixion. We were there. Yeah. Yeah. And God has forgiven you. Thank you God. So who are we? Thank you. Not to forgive your brother. Right. God, they missed that though. Yeah. Yeah. I say if, if, if God forgave you, right. which was a no good individual that had something to say at, on that hill called Calvary. They were there talking about crucified. Yeah. And God what? Forgave you. Yeah. So you need to always remember your past. Yes, Lord. You need to always remember your purpose. Yes, Lord. And Robert, I got one more thing. Yeah, Let me tell you. Come on now. It's right there All right. in the text. Come on. It said, therefore, I heard you. Yeah. Brethren. Yeah. By the mercy of God, yeah. give all yeah. to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice. Yes. Make God good, yes, acceptable to God. And it says, which with, oh God, give your spiritual service of worship. How many know that this ought not to come in here? No way to come. No way to come. Hey, God, good. You uh, need to remember that uh, because God cares so much about you, uh, you ought to come in the door and say, Lord, uh, thank you for uh, the amazing grace. Uh, oh, Lord, thank you uh, that you woke me up this morning. Uh, oh, Lord, thank you. Uh, I started uh, on my way. Uh, can I get somebody to help me here? Uh, thank you, Lord, uh, that I did not have uh, no pain in my hand. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, can I labor uh, to go to the ritual uh, all by myself? Uh, thank you, Lord. 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 Uh, Oh, 
and don't get your past. Remember your purpose. Your purpose is to win somebody to Christ. Yes. And you can't win folks talking to them in any kind of way always beating up on them. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Right. Yeah, Lord. You need to live a life. Yes, God. Remember. Yes. The love that God had for you. Amen. If you're here on today, you want to come and talk to God about something, whatever it may be. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just going to put that one thing out. And then if you want to be a member or you want to come join, Oh, my God, you can come. Yes. The only two things I want, I, I ain't going to put nothing out there. You might want to talk to God about something. Yes. And you can come. If you're here today, I want you to come. Tell God all about it. While Greenwood is saying, I want you to come. Amen. Amen. I think she's going to say something about some blood, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh? The blood that she does shed on me. Right, Maybe one on this side, where you come? If there's another reason that I didn't mention, it's still be coming.
And then the brother, he said, when the nephew leaves, he turned over there and take that brother. And then he died. Yeah. Phil will be here sad. Yes, Lord. So Miss Ruben been going through a lot. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And then she's still trying to work. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I told Robert, man. I got on. I got on. I got on. He played that card up, man. I told him. I told him. I told him, I told him man. Ruben don't need to be working there. All right, now. I told him, man. He paid the bills and the card up. All I told right, now. <laughs> I put that pressure on Robert now, you know what I'm saying? But we were still working on that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need to laugh, boy. I keep telling you. That's right, Pastor. Y'all need to laugh, boy. That's right. Woo! Y'all need to laugh, boy. 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 Y'all need Crazy. I know how she feels. The reason why I know because I've lost love. I've been there. You know, it didn't take time. This is all I had to take. It didn't take time. You can't hurt her, God. You don't know when he's going to show up. <clears throat> Mom knows she thinks about her mama. Now. She ain't want to. Mom took care of her mother. You took care of people. Mama and dad, sister uh, folded everywhere I her mother. She went. Her mother was with her. And I told her, you've done an awesome job with your mother. I pray that if the Lord allowed me to get that age that I have, somebody. Amen. Come on, help me again. I mean, know that big. Lord is raising up another sister Ruby somewhere. It might be Camera. Camera, you hear what I'm saying? Camera, Camera, Camera. Yeah, yeah, she might take care of me, man. You know. She said, Thong God. Thong God. Amen. But uh, we're going to pray, man. Sister Ruby. Where's the one she at? Oh. What's up, Bert? Father, Lord, we come now in the wonderful and precious name of your daughter, Son Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your amazing grace. And Lord, we thank you for showing us the type of power that you have. Lord, how you let that kill you, bury you, and then you got up. And then you call the cloud to come down and pick you up. But Lord, we thank you, Lord, for it showing out all through the Bible, dear Lord. Lord, we magnify and we glorify your name. Now, Lord, I ask you to remember a few of your, 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 your servants, your Lord, Sister Ruby Brown. Lord, you know what she's been through. Lord, I ask you to put your loving arms around her right now. Do her what she needs, to, Lord, to be able to make it through, dear Lord. Lord, we thank the Lord that she's not standing alone, dear Lord. Lord, that she got a hug and that's standing with her, dear Lord. Lord, she got a church family that's standing with her, dear Lord. Lord, so we thank you, the Lord, for support, the Lord. We ask you to bless our husband right now. In the name of Jesus, the Lord. And my friend, Pastor, the Lord. The Lord, I ask you to please give him a, a good heart, the Lord. A heart that will understand, the Lord, to work, the Lord. Help him, the Lord, that he go through it. Thinking about his mother, the Lord. Lord, help him in any way, Lord, that he may be blessed, Lord. Look at all the work that he does around the church, the Lord, how he helps other people, the Lord. Lord, we ask you to please have mercy on him, the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Then we have our sister Bertha Stewart. Lord, we ask you to put your loving arms around her. Lord, we don't know what she wants, Lord, but we just ask you to please hear her cry. Whatever her cry may be, Lord, we ask you to please have mercy. In the name of Jesus, the Lord. Lord, we pray for our biblical Lord, that we feel, Lord, the Robert, and uh, the Sister Ruby, Lord. Lord, we ask you to please put your love on the house of her, Lord. Help us in any way, Lord, that she needs to be helpful. Lord, we magnify and glorify your name. Lord, we ask this prayer in the wonderful and precious name of your daughter, Saint Jesus. 